Hello and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials on working with Zeb Modeler. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at uh, getting Zeb Modeler configured to work with a particular folder where you can keep all your textures to make it easier to find and apply textures. Uh, the first thing we need to do obviously is open Zeb Modeler. Once it's open, look in the options menu and click settings and this is a general settings window where different aspects of the modeler can be changed and amended the one we want to look at is in services the textures as always with the model you, go, you do get a default texture folder which is shown there so we need to click click on that and then click delete now we need to add your folder. Bear in mind that your textures folder should be made up in a SCS sort of uh, tree structure to make it easier to compile and build your SCS files once your model is complete. So what I'm going to do now is add the one I've defined. And you do that by clicking add and browse into the folder that you want. On, and then once you've got the folder selected just click OK it now appears there and make sure that always use this tick there once you've done that click apply and then OK and ZModeler now has a predetermined configured texture folder to look for your textures and Quickly before we go, I'll just explain these uh, the, the layout of the Z model of window here. Obviously, you've got your four viewports for editing and creating your modeling. A menu selection box, quite a lot of items in that we will be covering in other tutorials, and an object uh, view box. When you create uh, boxes, uh, faces, uh, vertices, surfaces, etc., these will all be listed here. And at the bottom here is a sort of a console that you can see if there's any error, error commands or anything flashes up there when it's done backups as it has here. And that helps you to keep in touch with what's going on within the program. Of course, you've got your familiar Windows uh, toolbars there with the different options, plus your main uh, file menus and such like. Quite a, quite a bit, lot to learn from a, a program that uh, could be, to be honest, a lot easier than it actually is. But we'll, we'll cover most things in the following tutorials. But for now, this is the end of part one. Thank you.